Hey guys, Masamaki here with another installment to Let's Play Life is Strange. We are back with more videos. I haven't done any videos in a while, and I apologize for that. I always say that. Every time I haven't done a video in a while and I come back, I'm always like, I'm sorry, I haven't done a video in a while, and it's not because I don't want to, it's just because I've been kind of busy. No trespassing, apparently. Look at this. Watch us. Watch us. Better stop, there might be somebody in the woods watching us. Like that bird right there. The bird's looking kinda kinda suspicious. But yeah. Um I, I the hell? It's bobblehead in there. Is that Elvis? I don't know if I ever noticed that before. Um but yeah, I've I've been semi busy. I was actually trying to hold off doing more episodes of this let's play until I had my new uh rig set up, my new my new PC. So if I remember correctly, yeah, you can move this. Don't know why I would want to move this, but maybe it's a way to get in. Yep. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. You found the front door. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, yes. Maximus rules. Maximus. Maximus. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. I don't even remember the Blair Witch Project. I remember it not being that good. It's kind of what hey, started the shaky chest. cam trend that's going on with like horror Little movies. Louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, Evidence. Okay. Look closer. Fire truck. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Why is all that just in a box? Just stuff the Prescott family is doing. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that Chloe would make a great detective too. Great detective. So yeah, new computer coming. Um, it should be much better than what I'm running on right now. I mean, I don't really have any problems doing like let's plays and stuff on this computer but I kind of wanted to upgrade to play at a bit a bit higher fidelity when I play those those higher higher resolution games and I stuff. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. I can't read that. What do I look like? Some sort of reader? I'm trying to click that. Alright. July 22nd, 1903. Martin Lewis Prescott. Prescott Ranch. Is this the Prescott Ranch? Is that where we are right now? Or is this stuff just here? Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden. Or, or is it Line... Linden? Linden? Maybe it's Linden. I think Linden's right. I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have... Or is it... I'm pretty sure it's debt. The, the B is, like, silent when you read that word. That you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be... Established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of by the end, if the day, <laughs> July 24th, in the year of our Lord 1903, rest assured. We will make your living, your life a living hell. I don't know if that's a typo or if that's just like the lingo from that point in time. Uh, it says if the day, so I, I assume that's just how they talked back then. Because it's, it's written there as well on the back, so it doesn't seem like a typo. That's it, yeah. So, Mr. Linden owes the Prescott some money. Okay. Or he did, There's I'm no pretty sure he's an old man at this point. Must be. Pretty sure he's he's old, oldie or dead. It looks like there's some here. It looks like there's some here. Scope out the perimeter, Max. I, has to be more here than I'm scoped. scoping so hard right now, Chloe. You can't even understand how hard I'm scoping. Got a pitchfork. That's how hard I'm scoping. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Psh, what you gonna do? I mean, just because you have a weapon doesn't mean you're strong enough to take on a zombie. Come on, come on. Like, have you ever seen little girls running around in horror movies that have zombies in them? No, they're usually dead. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I mean... I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. I mean, um... I mean, Max isn't a little girl. She's... 
18. But she's still oh, kind of small. The good old days. The good old days. Polard's Market Arcadia Bay. We got eggs. Man, 16 cents for eggs? Bacon? 70 cents for bacon? I wish I was, like, living in this time period. Man, sugar is 50 cents. Coffee's a dollar. You can still get coffee for a dollar unless it's referring to, like, a bag of coffee beans for a dollar. Then that's cocaine. <laughs> you can just buy cocaine. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not the drug. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they aren't selling cocaine for like how much was it two dollars <laughs> at the at the supermarket? Ah, oh, the good old days. <laughs> two dollars for cocaine. Just oh man. Yeah, it's a so many haystacks. What? So many oh, haystacks. Okay. So few needles. It's not funny. Uh, the reason why I did it twice was because usually when you search something, it kind of like focuses on it for a second, but she just kind of read. It's a lot of searching to be done under the hay. I mean, you can s easily see there's something there. You can also see that there's something there. It doesn't look like there's anything over here, but I'll check here first, just to be sure. Just to make Max look like an idiot. Oh no, there's a trap door under there. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? 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 What about these other ones? I don't get to check. I don't even get to check these other ones. I don't even... Oh man, I wish I didn't pick the right one because I want to know what those ones are now. Faster game, underlay. Thank you. Oh, now I get to check these other ones. Sweet. Cause I want to know, like, this looks like it's something. I want to know what it is. Oh, she's just like, Pfft. oh, oh, never mind. It's just a sheet of metal. What about this one? Just rotting wood. Really? Really? Oh yeah, it is. It's just wood. That's a sheet of metal. That's some wood. And this is. I'm just checking just to see what I could have found. <gasps> Nothing here. Just being nosy is all. More sheets of metal. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Fair enough. I just wanted to see. Rewind time, like a time rewinder. Alright, what else have we not checked? It's a photo. Let's look at it. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Where the deer and the antelopes play? What's this? There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. You don't know that. You don't, you don't know things Boring. about rusty Boring. buttons. For all you know, it could work. You can use that to like open up the hatch over here. Watch that be the solution. Okay. Why? So, you can't open it. I don't even know why it gives me an option. It's a locked padlock. I'm gonna open it with no, my bare hands. Max. You can't open this with your bare hands. She's looking up there. I don't think okay, so. Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Um, can she reach up there? I really don't want to just be like, you know what? I'm gonna climb. Who pliers? Damn, pliers? those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to Ooh. smash this. More photos. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Look at him. He looks so distinguished. Missing some fingers. <laughs> I know it's it's the uh, art style. It just looks like it's missing fingers. Tractor, do I look at this? This tractor has paid its dues. And then some, because it's all pixelated. Did I look at it? I guess the press yeah, yeah, yeah. were just losing my bastards. mind right now. Losing my mind. Somebody coming? Somebody coming looking for us? All right. So, I guess you can just climb up there. Or do I seriously need to climb something? Can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Put Chloe in my inventory. Use her later. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Okay. Oh, motor. Why would I be pulling that? What is the, the, the reasoning to be pulling old motors? I don't... 
Alright, game gives me the option, dude. I guess I should. Huh. Oh, she's using it to climb. Okay. Can I look at it first? Uh, no, no, I wanted to look Ah, fuck you, game. <laughs> Can I, can I still look at it from up here? I mean, I can, I can, No! I didn't want to go back down. There wasn't even, like, a prompt or anything. It, she just walked right off. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Oh, that's it? Really? Just wasted my time. Just to... I can't even skip it! <laughs> we already saw it! Can I swing like Tarzan? Attach. Attach to what? Here's the other end of the rope. Okay. Should I be, like, locking it down? What else is up here? Hidden goodies box. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's an owl. Good evening, Doctor Who. That's not funny. <laughs> sorry. I'm glad she said sorry, because that wasn't funny. Doctor Who, fuck you. <laughs> that owl looks so pissed off. Ooh, let's look at it. Missing a lot of pictures. Uh, sometimes I just kind of want to. I, I haven't bothered to do it as of yet, but there there have been times where I'm just like, man, I should go back into the game and like see if I can find those other pictures, just to find them, just to see them. Um, attach. Hey Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. I thought I thought the button was all rusty. Is she gonna manually pull it with her hands? I will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Oh, she is. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Of course you can. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Did you call Warren yeah. actually? What? Wait. Hold up. X, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. I, I was... See, Gan didn't give me the opportunity to do that myself. I was actually just going to go into the menu here and check the text because... Before I started recording, Warren was sending some messages, and I don't know if I read those the last time I played. So, let's see. I think I did read this. Um, he was thankful that I pulled him off of Nathan and crap. Uh, come to the party tonight. Blah, blah, blah. He gotta calm himself down, because he was Hulkamania for a minute. like magic. It's like Vegeta. Vegeta. Ah, shit, that hurt. Don't ask me what I did <laughs> to go, ah, shit, that hurt. Just just know that it hurt. Alright, so I can pull, I, I probably have to get her to attach it first. Hey, Chloe. Okay. Pull. strikes again. Oh, I thought I could just jump down there like Batman. Never mind. Got it. You still can't skip that shit. Just leaving evidence all over the place like we were all up in here breaking shit. Where did... Oh, she went back in the box. You got the padlock. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. If Warren would have been like, What? That was amazing, man. Damn, this is heavy. Man, there better not be no dead people what down there. Is this stairs? Jackpot. You, you've never seen stairs before. I mean, do I even need to say how weird this is? Yeah, he just did. That's weird. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Wait, what about me? You're leaving me behind. Hold up. I'm scared. Barns scare me. Barns don't scare me. I'm a liar. I'm cool with barns. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go and sleep in a barn. This bunker is so surreal. Whoa! This is. I wasn't even painted. Like <laughs> it goes to show how 
how narrow sighted I was for a second because I was just walking to the keypad. I didn't even notice there was like a safe door here. God. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Alright, so let's look at this. First a padlock, then a digi code? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh wait, you can see like buttons that have been pushed more, so maybe I just gotta do what's there. Two, four, five. Oops, bad code. Let's try four, two, five. Oh, think, think. I don't know, I'm looking at it. Five, two, four. You can do it, Max. Okay, so it's locked. Hey, stupid! You fuck up three times, you're locked out. I hate these. Can I lock us in here? That'd be crazy. <laughs> like rewind enough to the point where the the bad lock has not been lifted, and then we're stuck. Some numbers look faded, so. That's what I was thinking. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's try five. Did I try five, two, four? I think so. Let's try five, four, two. Yeah! Oh, okay. yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. James Bizond. I'm sorry, I apologize. I deserve a bad joke thing. Open sesame. If she can say Doctor Who, I can say James Bizond. I don't, I don't, that's not even a joke. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Where's Walter White? What? Why was there a leaf right there? <laughs> it's just a fluttering leaf for no reason. Where's Walter White at? About to break. Now what the hell is this? Food and shit? Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. More survivalist supplies. Does David have like What's a- the press got some creepy art? Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Is David, like, using this place? Tuck tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I mean, maybe the, the pipes leak, you ever thought of that? Whoa. Oh. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Let's read it. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatric for over five years... I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well that the extent of Nathan's challenges, um, but I feel, I don't know why I, I saw that wrong in my head. Let me, let me try that again. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in the, in, God damn it, in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personal manner. Or personable... Person? Person? Personable? Yeah. Uh, you have ignored my request for consolation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best, Dr. Jacoby. J Jacoby. J Jacob. Jacob Y. Dr. Jacob Y. Yep, that's his name. J Jacob Y. So why is that down here, of all places? Why is why is a letter pertaining to Nathan? Oh, I was hoping this would, like, move if you walked into it. It's hard as a fucking glass mirror. Whoa! They've got, like, creepy-ass pins. Got a... What the hell is this? A 3D? No, I don't think this would be a 3D printer. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Maybe. In this room? I mean, I've seen 3D printers. This is not what they look like, but this looks like a tanning bed <laughs> more, more than a printer. I mean, it's a really large printer to print, like, images of that size, from what I can tell. Seeing how those are the... Okay. Did you did you see this over here? This is a poster. She is ripping her neck open. That's an original signed illustration. 
fits perfect in here. How do you know it's a, an original signed? How do you know that? Papers. Look. Oh, that son of a bitch. What's it say? You even powered rock construction storm breaker bunker. Whoa, that is a lot of money. Sean Prescott. They just randomly made a bunker. What's up with that? Talk about tortured. Okay, I don't need to look at the creepy paintings anymore. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a, like a sheep, maybe. Kind of like a sheep sideways. I don't know. This one you can easily see its face being covered by some hands. Um, I don't know what that top one is. It doesn't look like anything. And the same goes for this bottom one. And this one just looks like a woman bound and. That that one is creepy as hell. Uh, I think we looked all up in here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look around in here. We got drugs and needles. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Needles. I don't know if she was gonna Gross. react that way. Like any time there's like a video game where they kind of showcase needles, the the character you play is usually spazzes out. Well, she didn't spaz out about it, but she's like, ugh, needles. Like they always hate needles for some reason. Needles aren't that bad. So who's using this fancy tripod? I mean, nobody. You can see that nobody's using it. You just walked in here. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. I mean. You can take it. Steal from the rich, give it to the poor. Like Rob Van Hood. Can I take a pose? Look at all this weird shit. What are you looking at? I'll look at what you're looking at in a minute. I'm not done. Somebody What's likes one? their whiskey. Uh, newspaper. What's this? Oh, I thought it was like a phone or something sitting there. What's that noise? I think it was the light. <laughs> it scared me a bit. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Rachel Amber, officially confirmed missing. Okay, it doesn't say anything else. Uh, the Blackwell Totem, the spirit of the news since 1898. Search continues for popular Blackwell student by Juliet Watson. This one about Arcadia Bay Beacon, Blackwell student saved from rooftop suicide. And once again, I am happy I saved her. Oh, we can search the cupboards. There not be no dead bodies. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know if my eyes just played a trick on me, but I saw like a weird glitch happen when I opened that up. I don't know. It looked like creepy, creepy stuff. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. I didn't even look at the computer or anything, man. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. What happened to Rachel, too? Can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like oh, that? Oh, is he buried her? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please. Let's go. Fuck, man. Oh my god. Rachel, Kate, all of these files. This place actually feels evil. Yeah, you're telling me. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's read it. Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom. Um, just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. 
or you're on your own. Love, Father. Okay. Uh, let's use the computer. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Well, as soon as you open it up, you just oh got an image God. of Kate. No. Duct taped and shit. Man, if David is a part of this... And then we got files? Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. Is she, like, bleeding? What's, what's with the red? What At least that? Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. And then we got Rachel. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? Something in her mouth? How can you tell? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. And then... Supposedly Victoria is next? Like, I don't like Victoria, but I wouldn't want her to, like, get drugged and forced to pose. Oh, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I know I should be, like, hurrying with, uh... <laughs> Alcohol and stuff. I should be hurrying with Chloe. I just wanted to make sure I looked at some of the other stuff. So let's go. It's already out and about. God, left me in here. To the junkyard. But we, like, I understand we're trying to bust these dudes. We didn't bring any evidence. The, the evidence is there. If if we go to the cops or anything. And say, hey, we found this bunker and whatnot. And if Nathan and David, quote unquote, because I still don't know if he's a part of it, but it seems like he is. Um, if they find out about us, like rummaging around, they're gonna like dispose of all that all that evidence Chloe, somehow. Slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. How do you know? Are you gonna help me, Max? I mean, can we get a shovel? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh, oh. that smell. Rachel. Oh. So pretty much I had no words to say for that part. I was just kind of soaking in that emotional scene. Wasn't expecting Rachel to be dead. Up until the very end of this episode, when we... Obviously when she was like, oh, she's buried. If if, the, if she's buried, there's no way she could have survived that. So. And then we're just going to go to a party and expose it. We didn't take that, that creepy graffiti... <laughs> We didn't take the evidence. This is the uh take so Nathan enjoys his last party. Just take Chloe, the evidence to the we police. Can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. That's not the how it works, have had this girl. coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't let Chloe down, though. 
but I can't let her do anything stupid. Don't be, no, don't do that. I feel like he needs to, like, get psychological help and go to jail or something, but you don't gotta kill him. This is like that eclipse. Who the hell You're are right. you? Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? It can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Are two moons? Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Look at two moons in the sky. What is... What? Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? Are you good, drunk? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Wait, wait. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Man, I feel for Warren. He's just like caught up in all this. Never expected to see him drink it though. Thought he was a straight edge. Hi, can I take your coat or anything? No. Get away from me. No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. <laughs> I gotta keep referencing Where that. <laughs> that one dude who lost his tablet with the cats on it. What are these kids that I've never seen before? Let's, let's talk to Stella. Uh, hi, Stella. I haven't hey, seen Stella in a while. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Uh, what girl? What girl? She had blue hair, oh. dressed like a punk. I'm an idiot. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Anything unusual? Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Yes, I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Alright. Just go in. I love this song. Oh, oh that song. So that water does not look like water. Music is gonna make my head explode. Oh my god. Where's 
half these characters have never been a thing. I understand they're not main characters, but I've never seen them walking around or anything like that. Who's this dude? He's got, he's got the moves. I saw um, Elisa. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even. I can't dance, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I can dance better than that. Oh man. <laughs> I'm hoping he just does it again. <laughs> it's like he's having fun now. <laughs> Everything at Blackwell looks evil to me now. Let's see Brooke. Is she mad Warren asked me out? Warren asked me out? I can I, I'm pretty sure he just asked me to go to the movies. Is that really considered asking out? I thought we were just gonna oh, go see a movie as friends. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. Oh, called him a scrub. Why are you here then? So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. It's a double moon outside. Did you see that shit? Only with your drone. <laughs> By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the Well, then you need to go outside and look at it. The night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. I'm nice they kind of patched it up. Like, she's she's not a bad person, man. Energy you could be friends. So are energy drinks. I know somebody has to lose. Of course. Unless Warren got drunk off soda. Courtney, how's it going? You looking? looking There's all Courtney sad. drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. She's not really drinking. She seems to be on a tablet. Yo, Luke. Who's Luke again? I don't remember seeing him. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? Dangerous. I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town! That voice is so familiar. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you! For helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. Looks no cool. One seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? I feel she's gonna get pushed in the pool. She's just standing at the edge. But yeah, Luke's cool. I don't remember seeing. I'm not saying Luke has not been a thing throughout this game, but if if he was, he was not shown very often. It's over here. Curious. Nothing. I thought there was gonna be like a hidden thing, maybe a picture shot I could take. This music is really Justin said somebody saw two moons outside. Like Justin. 
There's two moons outside. Go look. Nobody cares. Surprised you didn't get pushed in. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> I know it's not really like a. I was looking. I before. I don't know why I talked to him again. What? Uh, I. Let me skip through it. Yes. I'm pre. Well, yeah. Every every time I've saved her, and I just. I'm surprised to see you here. Oh my god! This is so loud. There's so much conversation. Uh, Kate. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. Yeah, man. It's not cool. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better, and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. Um, follow video, revenge. Revenge? Kate deserves revenge. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help, like you helped me. I always warned you. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by Robert Frost. Tell me. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. She looks so that was evil. <laughs> it was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Matt. There was, there was more dialogue. Yes, I, I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. Uh, Vortex Club. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. That's fair enough. Um, Victoria. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. <laughs> I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. <laughs> One Alyssa, quick deck. I have to find Nathan. I think she needs that. Have you seen him? A swift really punch to the know, face by another but chick. Surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why? When I have Max Caulfield at my side. Good luck. Hey, don't get don't get comfy, man. That other dude might swing his pool noodle at you. What's this? Ah. The wit of the Vortex Club. No running, no diving, no fucking. Okay. There's a bunch of people in the pool. Who's this dude? Bouncer. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Yes, you do suck. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't okay. give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Nathan. Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. God, stop nice try. Bobby. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. What a bitch. A stupid I need to find a neck way thing that she was doing. Fuck you, lady. I'm going in here. Get away from the music, God. Hey, Max. What are you doing in here? 
What's up, Jester? You drunk if motherfucker? If I get sick now, I can drink more later. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. Ugh, oh, ice cream truck's coming. So yes. Brace yourselves. sucks. Uh, let's talk about Dana. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense, and your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. How well can a drunk man skateboard? I'd like to look into that. <laughs> Dude's just peeing in here. Man, who's this dude? It's a random, random dude. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Is there anybody else here? I've never <laughs> Good looked. night, sweet prince. Hello? Can you please hurl and This is my already? last Vortex Club party! Yes! You've been vomiting oh, no. for like an hour! Gross! How did this even get here? Maybe you're not the only one who has to get oh. sick. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Oh, wrap it up. Or both. Ugh. I heart worn gay ram. It's terrible. Alright, that's it. Nobody else? Unless these guys peeing are important. No. No, just just that. There was actually more dialogue with him, so let's No, see. seriously, I'm out of here. Yeah, never mind. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. I can't rewind and ask him about the other one, but I really don't want to. Ah god! <laughs> Fuck! Part of the game <laughs> warrants an epilepsy warning because that killed my eyes for a second. All right, let's talk to Courtney. Let's see if she can get us in the VIP. Hey, Courtney, how are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? Uh, I was asking how you were it doing. It really must be the end of the world. <laughs> get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so. I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Oh, sick burn. Not really. Fuck you, Courtney. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Oh my god. <laughs> it just realized how under, like, pixelated everybody is in the water. They don't look like they belong. <laughs> It's very, very unnerving. Like, you don't notice it unless you just look right at them. They're just like, very creepy. Oh, there's a thing I can interact with. Hmm, I could push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. Hmm. That's gonna kill a bunch of people. Just rewind the time. What are you? What are you being so panicky for? Man, just overreacting that shit. Like ah, these bad things happen. Look, see, problem solved. Shit. Where'd Chloe go? She came in, but we didn't see. She might be in here. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has- Ooh, Kate's texting me. Uh, Kate, I was so happy to see you smile again. You mean so much to me. Uh, I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. 
He brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will call me soon as you can. Okay. To be here tonight. This is a chair. I can just sit. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the vortex club. Oh, movie. Thank you. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. What? But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. She passed out I over hate there. Feeling this way. Dark and angry. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Those dance moves, though. Alright. Slightly worse than the guy that we met when we first came in here. Alright, let's have a look around. We got Zachary. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. It's going to be terrible. It's a DJ. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. I have no idea who that is. You dance worse than my dad. Yes, but can you do this? Okay, now that's hot. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Talk to her. Let's talk to her. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. Talk about Trevor. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Is that Victoria over there? I think it is. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? But we'll see. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah. Uh, Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. The hell? The camera just spazzed out for a second. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Give me a break. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. I mean, you don't know. This is this dude might be making sure nothing happens. This was Taylor. Speak to Taylor. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like two buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. 
Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when he's around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. <laughs> I do have to go now. <laughs> terrible. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. It's oh, a pharmacy simulator. Thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us too. What's up, Hayden? What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG butts, so I can barely see you. Or these hotties next to me. You want a hit? You want a hit? No thanks. No thanks. Come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you could sit down and take a quick hit. Uh, I don't even know why I'm still questioning him. He doesn't seem to want to answer or anything. Victoria. Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Like, half these characters you don't really interact with throughout the game. At least so far. And I'm pretty sure this game's supposed to be five episodes. And this is the fourth one. And I think we've only seen Hayden, like, actually talk to him maybe like two or three times. I already talked to Taylor. Let's talk to Logan and then talk to Victoria. I'm saving Victoria Logan. for last. Can I talk to you for a second? Max, Logan. all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Ew, Logan. Uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Uh, why would you even want them to twerk? They have no buttocks. Also, what is going on right there? Saw it inside of someone's head. Business. He should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so <laughs> cute, and we never really talk. You're a dick. <laughs> Logan, you're such a dick. You bailed on Dana when she was pregnant, right when she needed you most. Now you're trying to mac on me? Are you proud of yourself? Bro, what is, what is with that? Me Stop! Body tackle. <laughs> I already feel like an ass for flaking on Dana. Uh, how can I be an undick now? You could start by not trying to sex up every female in front of you. The rest is your choice. Use it well, bro. Oh, and don't ever touch Daniel DaCosta again. You will regret it. Now, excuse me. Yeah, don't be shoving him in any lockers. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Her face is so serious right now. Right, yes. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Man, she looks... <laughs> she looks intense. Um... I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. You're the one who got- Yeah, I'm playing Dark Souls. Matters. Give me some of that and humanity. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. So I'm not the only problem child here. 
This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Uh, you have talent. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. That is true, you don't. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Nah. Uh. Not enemies. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. As I said earlier, I'm going to warn her because even though I don't like Victoria, I don't think she deserves the faith of potentially being drugged, tied up with duct tape, photographed, maybe even molested slash raped, and then ultimately killed like what happened with Rachel. So to save her that faith, I am going to warn her. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. See, and evidence would prove would this. Do that? Evidence? Did you that bring any with you? But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. I could have. And I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. They're friends! I feel, I feel like that's a, that's a good outcome. What the hell did you come from, Chloe? Where the hell am I? Maybe oh. there's hope yet for Victoria and me. For a second, I was just like, where am I now? <laughs> I'm in the same spot. It's just she's okay. moved up a little bit. Oxygen kit. Yeah, you are. What? I wanted to look at the oxygen kit! Here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely oh. not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. What about the professor? Can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. 
I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Did she? Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. Why? He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Why did y'all just call the cops? What's going on? <laughs> it's just, it's like watching a movie. Also, the other moon's disappeared. It's like watching a movie, and then the character's just doing, like, really stupid stuff that, that, like, stuff that's really sensible that any normal person in that situation would Stop do. stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Yeah. What the hell? Max, we catch Nathan, oh, we gross. So I can kill him over and what, over. Did it go through the wall? Oh, God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? I don't know where Chloe went. <laughs> I just like diverged from the path just to come in here. Oh, she's oh she's waiting for me. There's that. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Is that the Jesus, owl? That's a quiet, of okay? We have to be invisible. You already said that, Max. Gotta be visible. The fuck? You're trying to scare me? What do you think this is? That didn't even scare me. It was just made me go, what the fuck? She got her gat ready. I don't even know why I said it gets a revolver. It's a revolver. I will get your revenge. Oop, sorry, sorry. I swear. Oop, I did it again. Max, please hurry. I'm right behind you! It should still be there. There's no way he dug that up that quick. It doesn't oh even. God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. There's literally nothing there. Oh! No! Her power's not gonna work. Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? Oh! She got shut down! This is why you go to the cops! 
This is why they would went to the cops and be like, hey, this is going down. This man is a dick. He's causing problems. Arrest him. We got evidence. But no, no, y'all want to be superheroes. What? Mr. Jefferson! What? Was that the end? That was the end? I could put that in the last part. I guess I'll just edit it in. What? <laughs> Mr. Jefferson! Why? What? I'm so confused. I didn't even. Uh, let's just let's just skip that. I don't even know what happened there. I don't even know what happened there. Chloe is just dead now. Is she gonna stay dead? Is that gonna is that gonna be a thing that we're that we're gonna stick with? Okay, so. Now we get to look at all the um, choices people have made compared to the stuff I made. This is how I like it when it shows you at the end. I actually took the time to watch um, a few people play. Not not all the way through, but a few, I watched a few people do a couple of parts of Until Dawn. And there, there seems to be a feature in it where it shows you the percentage of people who picked what. Apparently you can turn that off because most of the people I've seen who've played it don't have that option on. But there was one person I watched. I ain't going to say his name, but... I watched them, and that feature was on, and it kind of drove me insane. It kind of ruins the immersion to where it's just like, okay, this many, this percentage of people chose this option. I feel that influences you a little bit to pick certain options, whereas, on the other hand, you would just kind of pick whatever if it wasn't showing. Anyway, uh, I refused Chloe's request. Uh, most people seem to have killed her. I, I couldn't do that. Chloe's my friend. I can't do that. Um, also, I knew we were, I knew we were going to go back in time and, and stop or, or allow her father to die in the, in the car accident. At least I think it was a car accident. Yeah. Allow her father to die where she, life would kind of turn back to normal. Uh, we stopped Nathan. Or we stopped Warren from beating up Nathan. Most people chose that. That's fine. Um, uh, here's some options. Chloe wounded Frank. Chloe killed Frank. First time I did it, Chloe outright killed Frank. <laughs> and the second attempt, uh, she did nothing to him, which is the option I wanted. Um, and then here we have uh, options of warning Victoria. Victoria not believing you. I didn't even know that was an option. I thought it was a matter of you could warn her or not warn her, and that was it. But apparently she can choose not to believe you. 75% uh, of people got her to believe that uh, she was in danger. So... Oh no, that's that's way back at the beginning. Okay, isn't there usually more stats? I always forget. Oh, here we go. Uh, I have to get next. So, most people let the Blue Jay die. So sad. <laughs> just, just let that Blue Jay fly into a window. Um, didn't disturb the bird's nest. I don't remember seeing the bird's nest. This is a few things I probably missed. Got David's files in another way. Apparently you could have found that code, but I just pried it open and it didn't feel like bothering. Uh, Kate helped you find uh, Nathan's room. And I don't know how she even got that information. She just sends you a text and tells you the room number. Um, didn't motivate Daniel to go to the Vortex Club. Most people chose... He, he doesn't need to be around those people. Those people are jerks to him. So I felt it would have been better for him to not go and just stay at at his college dorm. Well, not college. His his dorm. The dorm. Dorm. His room. Stay at his room. I felt that was a better option. Um, didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> always, always. And I'm pretty sure I looked at his door too, and I looked at it. But sometimes the game does this thing where it's like. You look at it, and then it allows you to interact with it after you've looked at it once. And that might have occurred. I don't I don't know if I examined it, but I'm pretty sure I did. And after you've examined it, then it gives you the option to edit it or, or mess with it in a different way. But I probably didn't look back at it again. Um, so yeah, most people didn't figure out Nathan's plan. I was one of those people. I could not figure it out for the life of me. And apparently there was two options to that. Uh, I, I couldn't figure it out, and eventually you you enter a different number, like a long string of numbers that just unlocks the phone that's on the, the SIM card. 
and you can figure out the pin, but I honestly couldn't do it, and I sat there for like a good 20 minutes not knowing what to do, and most people helped Alyssa, everybody likes Alyssa, I feel, so, yeah. Man, Mr. Jefferson. This game got dark, like fast. Ah, that was loud. <laughs> Woo! Okay, <laughs> that's the end of it. Um, man, it got dark really fast. That wasn't expecting Mr. Jefferson to be the one to be like the mastermind behind it. Now it's kind of making me speculate if like he's influencing Nathan. Because Nathan's a bad, bad kid. But it might be a, fact, uh, or a factor of Mr. Jefferson kind of pushing him towards doing certain things he probably wouldn't want to do. Or maybe they're just in it together and they're both just equally crazy. Just Mr. Jefferson is capable of hiding his sadistic nature compared to Nathan, who's just kind of always flying off at the handle. Ugh, oh man. Didn't didn't realize I was so close to the end. I thought there was going to be a little bit more. I'm a little sad, because <laughs> I really do like this game. So I can't wait until the next episode. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, you all have a good day, afternoon, evening, night. And I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw with your eyeballs. That was part 17, or the final part of episode 4 of Life is Strange. Yeah, it was episode 4. Uh, the Dark Room, I believe it was called. That ending, though, <laughs> I wasn't expecting, like, the majority of the stuff that happened. In, I know there was that one part in the previous episode at the very end, which, which I was able to guess what was what was going to happen which was very odd i was surprised i was able to guess that but this this episode at the end of this one i wasn't expecting any of the stuff that happened to happen wasn't expecting rachel to be dead find, come to find out that she's dead and i wasn't expecting mr jefferson to be behind all this also chloe's dead now i don't know if there's going to be like a rewind time thing that max does in episode five to bring her back but at the moment she's dead and and if Max does bring her back, that will change the timeline and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys want, you can check out some of my other stuff. They're on the screen. You click on them. If I remember to put annotations in, I always forget. But if they are there, you click on them, and it'll take you to the other videos you can watch. So, yeah, you have a good day, afternoon, evening, night. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.